Hello, 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 and welcome everyone to this week's live stream. Yesterday marked the release of Undead Pirates content in the wilderness. So today we're live to talk about just that. You know, I'm here with some uh, uh, some handsome devils on my on my left. Uh, Mod Mank to Mod Dizong. How are you both doing? What's up, with you Mank? I'm good. Um, excited to see all the action in the wilderness. Uh, it's it's a nice change. Uh, a lot more hotspots for people to actually go to. It was only like two choices before, so yes, yeah, lovely to see people just having a, a bunch of places they can go to and have fun with friends. Excellent, excellent stuff. And Daizong, how are you doing? Hello, yes, very happy to be back at live stream. Exciting for the release of Undead Pirate. So, and we've seen many valuable feedback so far, so just want to thank everyone for that. Indeed, indeed. And keep it coming, guys, you know. We're only, we're only a day in. You know, I'm sure there's some sort of there's more feedback you want to share with us, so keep it coming. Uh, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out. Uh, so not only are we going to be answering your questions on this stream, but you can also come hang out with us. You know, hang out at the new new spot, chill with some undead pirates and some chaotic wizards uh, at the Chaos Temple. We're at World 520, so come join us. Uh, and we'll be hopping over there while we're answering your questions and just having a, a chill time. So, you know. Come and maybe do some PK and maybe, you know, kill some druids and some undead pirates and have a good time, you know? So, uh, to give a brief overview, uh, we mentioned the undead pirates at the Winter Summit where everything passed the poll, included uh, the undead pirates themselves. And later on, uh, its rewards were also polled, uh, like we always do. And the majority of rewards passed the poll, except the Chivalry, Prayer Scroll, uh, Fountain of Room, and Amelie's Crystals. And finally, as of the latest game update, Undead Pirates are introduced into the game, providing an adrenaline-fueled money-making method in the worldie between levels of 9 and 14 Wilderness. Um, overall, how do you think it's gone, Manked? Yeah, um, really well. I'm excited for more lower levels to get engaged, I think, because it's quite good money right now. Everyone's like experimenting with the keys and all of that. It's all worth quite a lot. So a lot of mains are going there and uh, killing everything as well, which is great to see. But hopefully over the next few weeks, months, we'll see some lower levels go there as well and enjoy it, uh, be able to enjoy their unique builds because you can only get attacked by certain people within your bracket, which is, you know, what the whole thing was made around pretty much so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see the future of it so far. It's gone really well. I'm really happy with it. Awesome stuff. Yeah, very nice to see some lower level Will D content. And Dizon, do you feel do you feel the same? Yeah, yeah. I think Mount pretty much covered it. I think it's really exciting to see that the people have been enjoying it, playing it, and we're looking forward to see how it goes in the long term. Awesome stuff. Yes, but as always, before we get into the, the meat, of the live stream let's go over some announcements uh, exclamation mark game update this week brings a new money maker in the world the undead pirates plus adjustments to coliseum modifiers drop rates rewards and more so you can check out all the details using that command uh, we also have that exclamation mark vala more prepare yourself for vala more we're always going to get that pun in there i don't know how many times but probably a lot more uh, help us to shape what rewards you want from the group boss and herblo activity from part two. We put a little blog out just to give you an update on where we're at, including talking about uh, where we want to go in terms of quests for Valamore part two and beyond. Uh, so give us your feedback on that. Uh, and finally, exclamation mark merch. More makeshift plushies are out now. You've got Dragon Chain Body, Gold Trimmed Room Champion, the Cute Noob, and Vertis. So grab them before they are gone exclamation mark merch all right i think with the announcements out of the way it's time to hop in game we heading over to the gameplay production yeah we are look at that straight on cue i'm just hanging out here at the moment because we were doing a little bit of testing before we uh <laughs> well, we jumped in to make sure i i wouldn't die so we're gonna we're gonna find out if that's uh that's still happening so let us jump over to here and see if we're good we're, we're good we're good we're good we're gonna see if there's a uh, I'm 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 getting attacked again. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if I can be seen or not, but but we'll see. We'll see. We'll just we'll just hang out over here for a little bit. We'll we'll now you guys can get the chaos druids off of me and and deal with them while I try and uh, try and get the orb to work. But you know, if not, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, just don't die. Exactly, exactly. All right, so we've collected some questions uh, coming from you across our social platforms. Now we're going to go through them uh, one by one, but also make sure to share your questions in chat too. Our mods will be looking there, uh, collecting them, and we'll do our best to go over them as much as the time allows. So first question, while I sort out uh, 
Oh, look, there's so many people coming now. This is great. Um, Undead Pirates content is fun as hell, and the loot is fairly good. Can you walk us through the thought process behind coming up with the content, and what was the goal? Well, I think I can start with this one with some brief introduction. So I think the goal here is we want to create a low-level hotspot in the wilderness. You know that currently, the low-level builds struggle to find some suitable content in the wilderness. You know, as I think most of the useful hotspot are in 20 plus wellness. So it's for the low level players, they often need to fight someone much stronger. And that's something we'd like to improve with this release. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much, Daizong. There's so much happening at the moment. People already. Oh. Getting PK'd from left, right, and center. Anyway, we'll move on from that. Thank you, Daizong, for that lovely uh, response. Next question then. Were there any learnings from other worldy content used for Undead Pirates? Yeah. Um, so for stuff like the worldy boss rework, I think it was a really cool design, but we definitely heard feedback from players saying they wanted somewhere kind of more fun to PK at because the escape caves can make it quite difficult for hopping around and finding people. So we wanted to avoid dungeons, um, etc., and places where you can go upstairs and all of that, just to make a fun environment for players to run around PK with their friends, uh, which is something you kind of always want to do on an MMO, which is good. Um, and yeah, we kind of built that in, made, made ensured the loot was consistent, you know, so you don't get one drop and then just instantly leave. So for both the, the player and the PKs, it's boring because, you know, it's not consistent loot. So um, yeah, we kind of tried to integrate all our learnings from what we've heard uh, feedback-wise from pre previous uh, launches and, and build it into this. Awesome stuff. Do you think like you've achieved uh, exactly what you set out to then with this? Yeah, I think it's quite early. Um, I think with most building updates, there's a lot of hype at the beginning and then they kind of die down. So I'm hoping because this place should be a fun place to PK, because it is rewarding for players that want to go there to kill the zombies as well. Long term, it should be a, a hot spot and should remain there. Uh, and then hopefully as well, as uh, the lower levels uh, start to engage in it as well, it will just create like a nice little variety. So you can go pure PKing again. I, I can't remember the last time I went pure PKing in the Wildy, you know, because there wasn't really anywhere to go. So uh, hopefully this will be a uh, place for the long term for players to enjoy. Awesome. Thank you very much, Manx. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm getting attacked by players, but not doing uh, too much damage to me. So, you know, have fun. Have fun trying to eat through the unlimited health there. Um, awesome. So speaking of the content itself, uh, why do the Elder Chaos Druid teleport uh, teleblock players now? Yep. So um, there's a few reasons, to be completely honest. Um, so obviously, um, first of all, in low level wilderness, obviously you can teleport very easily with one click of a button. Um, now, this is great. Um, however, it means all players need to be on the normal spell book uh, in order to teleblock players. And that's typically not received as a very um, easy to learn spell book. Um, so most players, when you talk about PKing, you probably think Ancients, Ice Barrage, you know, that kind of thing. And it is much easier um, to use. So that's like one of the main goals. It just it makes it a lot more accessible to like your, your average player who is probably not very good at peaking at all and they all they need to bring is you know a few um ice barrage spells or ice blitz or whatever they have access to and use that um and then also just to combat any like malicious people as well you know if we make we, we want to make this place worthwhile being at um and because it's multi-combat it's hopefully going to put off a lot of uh, bots and, and people that have that intent to, you know, mass, um, use loads of accounts to, to, to do this content. So hopefully it will only be legitimate players who can actually do it because it will be so risky, but then legitimate players will be able to partake in it. It will be very hard to abuse the kind of system we've implemented here. As we know, that is um, a topic that players are very passionate about and we want to ensure that uh, we, we do what we can to counter those people um, while making it still fair for all. Uh, the, the great thing about this low-level hotspot is, yes, it is multi. Yes, you are TB'd whenever you're there. But at the same time, you're only in level like 9 to 14 wilderness. So if every time you see a clan and you just run south, 
uh, the odds are they're only going to be able to attack you if they even can for a few wilderness levels so if you bring a bit of gear and some food you should you should survive a lot of the time obviously if they've got 50 people then that's quite unlucky but most of the time if it's only like a three or four man team uh, you can you can tank quite well yeah, and I'm sure there's plenty of uh, affordable tank gear as well, uh, Manx, that people can bring so they don't have to be running out here with uh, with all their valuables <laughs> ready to get them lost. Um, but yeah, like Manx said, like unfortunately if you get you know grouped up by a, a huge uh, group of players, there's probably little chance. But that doesn't that shouldn't stop you from bringing back protection. You know, it's definitely worth doing with some protection. So. To do it, you know, ha have a go, see see what you think. It's low level wilderness anyway, so at least the the levels are uh, smaller in range to to closely accommodate with yours. Uh, awesome. All right, thank you very much, Manx. Uh, right, we'll move on to the next question, which are undead pirates are dropping Laren's keys even when off task. Is that intended? Um, so we wanted a place for players to go if they ne didn't necessarily want to go do wilderness layer and go to different areas they could come farm these low level mobs um, because you know pirates they're, they're pesky and they, they steal people uh, steal things from people all the time uh, so they've clearly been uh, stealing some Laren keys from players in the past as they're passing by uh, so we just thought it'd be a nice alternative um, because I know there are a lot of people who do like collection log and they might necessarily not want to you know, go to all the different wilderness areas and they might just want to chill out and just farm at, at one location. So we uh, we added that in there just to, to give people an alternative. And they are quite rare too. Yes, yes, indeed they are. I've just seen someone release a bunch of uh, clockwork cats, which is not something I expected to see, but very cool nonetheless. <laughs> thank you to whoever that was. Uh, thank you, Manx, for that uh, answer. So... On that note, why is the teleport uh, anchoring scroll solo rare? Are there some secret drop mechanics? Uh, yeah, I think consider the you know, firstly, the undead pirate is there very easy to be killed. You know, you can get more than a thousand kills per hour with the help of the cannon. So yeah, so, and also the second one is, it's something you only want to need use once only in theory for the gameplay wise. Well, not consider you're gonna sell it or you're gonna arc it. So I think that's why we make it very rare. Well, for the secret drop mechanic, I guess just kill more of the pirate, play more in that area, that's it. Yeah, for what it's worth, uh, the, we know the news post said uncommon for both adamancies and the scroll, but they should have said rare. Uh, and even rare might be a push for the scroll itself, so just bear that in mind. Uh, we'll look to release the actual drop rates, the normal standard we do in terms of two weeks from the content's uh, launch, so you can expect that uh, in two weeks' time, probably in the Game Update news post, I imagine. Uh, so thank you very much, Daizong. All right, next question is, Elder Chaos Druids can move pretty far north or south of the temple. Thoughts on lowering the Wonder Range? Yeah, that's something we are currently looking at. Well, I think the reason we, we keep it as this originally is we think we want the droids to be able to cast the Teddy Block on the around the whole temple area for the players and that's why it has a, a big movement range currently i think the important thing here is to find a good balance point there for the movement range so in one way it doesn't move too far away but also it still can still cover the area for the chaos temple so i think that's why that's what we want to spend some time to look at next awesome thank you very much Tyson. Uh, all right, next one is the aggro range of the Elder Chaos Druids is too high. Is this uh, something we want to lower as well? Yeah, I think that's pretty much the same issue from the last question. Yeah, so aggro range is also used for the droid to cast tidy block and attacking the player around the area. So yeah, it's in our list to work on and we hope to get, it, get something in a good state and release the player soon. Awesome stuff. Yes, hopefully it should be very soon indeed. So you won't have to be waiting that long. Uh, cool. All right, that's we'll, we'll probably move on to some chat questions uh, at the end, but that's like our section for Undead Pirates now. And if uh, if you wasn't aware, because we didn't really talk talk about it in the intro, but there was another piece of wilderness content added uh, or change, should I say, which is the Wilderness Agility Course. And Manx, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. If you could explain what we've changed in the Agility course for those who are unfamiliar. 
Yep. So there is now an opt-in system. So if you like to take a little bit of risk, um, you can go to the Wilderness Agility uh, course uh, and get some Agility XP um, while depositing 150k. Uh, every time you do a lap, you get loot. And the more consecutive laps you do in like one session, the more loot you get. Um, so basically, the longer you stay there, the more loot you get. So it's kind of uh, rewarding uh, risk, which is a concept I, I really want to push more for the wilderness, where um, it's not necessarily always insane loot at the beginning, but the more you're willing to risk, the more you're going to get out of it. Um, as a, it's, it's a really cool concept, and I've seen a lot of content creators um, liking that concept as well. Um, and then there's also, because obviously it's going to become a lot more busy, uh, we also have uh, added uh, tokens or tickets. I can't remember what they're called. Which one? But uh, they give they will give you uh, more XP as well. Um, so if you collect them and don't hand them in straight away, um, the, again, there's different thresholds that will give you more XP per ticket. So again, another little risk versus reward, um, encouraging people to kind of gear up and actually have um, gear to try and survive instead of just you know see a peak and think, okay, I'll just die then. You know, um, so yeah, we, we kind of went down that road with it all. Uh, but yeah, no, just a, a nice new place for you to do agility if you don't want to click on rooftops. Indeed, and some nice rewards to go along with that. Again, that risk versus reward uh, strategy, which is the wilderness is known for, really, I think, sets itself, uh, sets the tone in the agility course with the new changes. Uh, so on that note, now that you've moved the Chaos Temple clue step, should you uh, could you please also move the Wildy Agility course clue step? Yep, uh, the answer will be simple. I see. Yes, yes, we will take a look at this and we'll try to find a good spot for the, the, the one in the Agility course. Excellent. There you go. Nice and easy peasy. Straight straight to the point. Thank you, Daizong. Uh, next one is uh, Wildy Agility Course is great, but I find it troubling that my streak resets upon logging out. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, we've seen the feedback about this, and then, you know, we I think we will work on the update so the logout won't just wipe out your live streak completely, but instead it will only reduce a certain amount from your streak. We will still need to find out what's the, the, the good, the sweet spot there, about how much, how many amount of the streak will be removed. But yeah, hopefully we can get this change to be ready soon. Excellent, excellent. All right, thank you very much, Daizong. All right, while I'm... Uh... While I ask you the next question, uh, Manx, um, I'm going to try and move us to World 319 because apparently there's a lot going on in the agility course up there and I want to see what's going on. So, uh, Manx, do we pay the 150k fee every time we visit the course or only repay after dying? Why do we pay a fee every time? Yep, so... Uh, you do pay it every time you visit the course. Obviously, we want to encourage players to kind of stay as long as they can. And that is, again, to uh, take, you know, kind of tank gear or uh, gear to fight back. Um, because at the end of the day, we hear a lot of players saying, um, you know, they kind of feel like loot pinatas sometimes. But with the design of the wilderness course, we've tried to make we've tried to tailor it more, somewhat more in favor of the people getting attacked. So, for example, there is a mechanic um, at the course where every time you do a lap, if you have got one inventory slot free, you'll be given food. And the whole intent behind is uh, behind that is if you're getting attacked by a PK, you can try and escape them. And obviously you might lose some food, but every time you're doing laps again, you'll get food again. Um, so you can kind of build up your inventory again uh, and it can be, you know, a, a nice little ecosystem. It can work well for the, the PKs and the, and the PVM as well. Um, why do you pay a fee every time? It is a nice little cash um, at Money Sync. We we do like um, to try and implement implement that where we can. Um, obviously, you're getting um, blighted items and some alcohols from this course, so it is lovely um, to have you know a bit of a Money Sync in that as well. Uh, and it also, uh, again, if if you didn't lose the fee when leaving, basically every single player once they got attacked, they'd just instantly leave and hope there's not a, a team on the other side of the um, the, the log so yeah a lot, a lot of design design decisions went around this uh, and hopefully it's good for both the people actually doing the course as well as PKs going there as well 
Awesome. I think so. I think so. The, the changes have been pretty good, I'd say. And you can see uh, how much it's popping off at the moment in uh, in three nineteen. So come and join us. You know, don't maybe don't bring too much risk because uh, there's a lot of people here. So just make sure you're coming well prepared. Um, all right. Next question then. Does the Ring of Wealth uh, imbued work on the medium clues here? Uh, if not, could it? Yep. Well, that's another simple yes for this question. Yeah, we're going to work on this one. I think a good point for for that. Sorry, um, just because. So the whole intent behind the this uh, this arena um, where you're doing agility and you're trying to build up your laps, you you kind of don't want to leave. So to me personally, it feels a little bit silly. Um, you know, wanting to get medium clues more often, but maybe you know you get attacked. You've been lowered on food loads, and you're just like, you know, what, I'm just going to stop. So maybe we can um, implement that so people do have like a medium clue scroll to take back to the bank and, and go do that if they want. Awesome stuff. Awesome. All right. Thank you for that, both of you. Much appreciated. All right. Can you please make it possible to display the agility streak on filtered chat? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why not. Originally, we filtered this out because we thought, you know, if you're talking to clan mates and stuff, You'd probably want as much filters filtered as possible, but we've seen quite a few uh, pieces of feedback asking for that to be displayed even when unfiltered. So I, I don't see why not. We can't revert that and yeah, give the people what they want. Awesome stuff. I don't actually think I've ever seen this many people <laughs> at the agility course. It's kind of insane. Look at the people are popping off here. I can see it. I haven't seen many fights, but maybe it's a bit more uh, more towards the entrance. So we'll, we'll, we'll stick around. We'll see. We'll see if we can see anything popping off. Um, all right. The uh, next question I have is, can you make it possible for more than one person to use the rope swing at the same time? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. sorry. I was just yeah, going uh, uh, to say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to say, yep, yeah, we, we fixed that earlier. Um, so now, as you can see on the stream right now, uh, you can now use uh, multiple people can use the rope swing um and and just for context all the people here right now on stream uh, they're all pretty much everyone um like you guys in twitch chat um i think a lot of them haven't got any pvp experience uh, but i think they're currently with a streamer um so they've just all banded together and they're hoping to uh you know counter all the pk clans and uh, just by sheer numbers so uh this could be you if you if you want to go along with them yeah, come and join us on 319. I've had a message saying Dino is offering amnesty for any would-be agility trainers, uh, hopefully. So at your own risk, if you want to get some agility gains in, swing by. Uh, he's making very diplomatic gestures. So, you know, take advantage of it while while, while we're here and we're, we're streaming having a good time. Um, awesome. All right. Thank you for that, Manked. Uh, and then the final question we have for the Wildy Agility course specifically in terms of our, like, list of questions uh, any chance marks of grace could be added to the wildy agility course yep so it's obviously a little bit of a, a touchy subject i know in um the project rebalance um blog that it was suggested that we'd add marks of grace to all of the courses um so the wilderness was included in that uh, we've obviously had the uh, amelie's question fail for the course although i think that was a really high percentage and um, so i personally would be fine with adding marks of grace because obviously the amount of amylase you'd get from that would be considerably lower than what we were proposing so i think we were proposing uh, 320 amylase per hour if you were at tier four which takes 50 minutes of consistent um agility in order to get to that however this would be you know your standard i, I don't know what the balancing would be for it but it'd probably be like 10 marks of grace per hour um so you'd you, you you could die and lose them. You'd be much better off doing any other agility um, to, to guarantee marks of grace for yourself. Um, but again, it might need a, a poll in the future for that specifically because we are aware that it, it technically did fail a poll even though it didn't. But again, hopefully players understand that this won't be as good as what we were proposing previously. So it is it will be more balanced, I think, and in line with what players would expect. Yeah, I think we'll definitely we'll definitely look to poll it again if it's something that we want to look at after tweaking. Uh, and if that is the case of th that fails that time, then we probably won't revisit in the future. Um, but worth 
seeing if if with the tweaked differences you you'd be okay with that so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens i can't say it's going to be anytime soon but we'll we'll definitely have it on our radars i think all right uh let's talk about some general wieldy questions next all right so we got was there a reason why we can't destroy a loot key of any value for example we can't destroy a uh, loot key worth of 30k yeah i i don't think I don't actually know if there was uh, what the reasoning behind it was. I'm going to guess it's because if you have the ability to, for example, if you logged into this world right now and started killing people doing agility, if you kill them and they've got a 40k key, you don't really want to keep that, right? You're just going to delete it and then kill another person and then check the key. Oh, it's bad. Kill another person. So I think it was to essentially force PKs to pick and choose who they actually try and kill. And if you've got multiple targets that you can select from, you're more likely to go for the, the higher risk um, targets. So I think it was just to, yeah, maybe convince PKs not to kill everyone they see and to be a little bit uh, selective with their targeting. Yeah, that's very cool insight. Thank you, Mank. I don't think we've had much insight on the on the loot key since they came into the game. So that's uh, much appreciated. <laughs> All right, uh, next one is, are there any plans to readjust the food and potions despawn timer? It's currently really punishing and makes juggling supplies difficult. Yeah, I think there's this. Yeah, well, the reason we're doing that is because some place you can just put the food on the ground, run to the bank and come back to use your food there. So the, so that's why we actually reduced the, the amount of time there. But also, we, yeah, we noticed the feedback about it's been too punishing. So I think we will adjust the time to make it less punishing, make it a bit longer. Awesome stuff. All right. And then the final question we've got uh, for general royalty stuff before we go on to some fun little questions and then we'll move on to uh, chat specific questions. If you've got anything you want to ask us, put it in the uh, in chat and we'll uh, we'll bring them up uh, as best we can. Are there any plans to revisit the respawn timers for Callisto, Venonatis, Vetion or their skin singles alternatives? They're respawning extremely quickly and don't leave much t uh, time to manage your inventory at the moment. Um, so I think for this, we plan to do it slightly different. Um, obviously, if you're a really good player and you're really experienced and you know exactly what you're doing and you can manage your inventory really well, uh, we don't want you to you know, have slower respawn timers. So the, hopefully the plan is to introduce um, a, a hold basically on the NPC. So if you're a little bit slower and you take a little bit more time um, to uh, do, sort out your invent and loot, um, that's fine. You can attack the boss uh, and the boss won't attack you for a few extra seconds. Um, but then that will allow the players that are quicker and are, you know, faster um, to have that fast respawn timer. So it'll be nicer for the people who are a bit slower, but then also not affect the people who are quicker and, you know, maybe paying more attention or, or whatever they're doing. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Manked. All right, let's move on to some little funsies questions. Uh, Dai Zong, maybe we'll start with you, but maybe if you could add anything to Wilderness or PvP tomorrow, no questions asked, what would it be and why? Um, I think generally I'd like to add more hotspot in Wellness, a bit similar to the Undead Pirate. You know, I think the idea is we can have more content in the Wellness that will suit for different type of player. And I know like generally the PvP is a bit controversial topic, you know, like not all our player base likes the PvP con content update. So one of our goal in the team here is to try to provide different types of the wellness content to make it more accessible for different players. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Thank you, Dazon. Manx, we'll ask you, I see a lot of people in chat asking for multi-revs. Uh, <laughs> what is worth? What's, uh, what's, what, would, what would you add, Manx? What would, what would you add? I think multi-revs is a, is a cool... Um, idea and it, it was super fun uh, back when it existed so multi revs is up there however I'm going to be that guy and uh, I loved breaches in Dead Man they were so much fun having different hotspots and, and knowing you know there's a boss here go kill it it was so much fun so personally something like that um, but in old school would be really cool obviously we'd have to he, uh, we would have to completely adjust the rewards and stuff because um, the supplies were the main reward as well as like the, the blighted or the corrupted items, sorry, uh, for Dead Man. So we'd have to adjust the rewards, but 
yeah I, I think something like breaches you know every day you know at this time there is going to be something fun for you to do with friends or on your own um for both single and multi i think that would be really fun and just bring life to the whole wilderness um without having like a single location being pinned down i think that's what i'd love Honestly, breaches is one of the coolest things we added with the changes to the newest Dead Man, and it was so fun to watch. I watch, I don't watch too much PvP content. I frequently occasional stream and uh, YouTube video, but seeing the amount of like breach-based content <laughs> that was flooding my feed was 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 excellent. We love a good breach here, I think. Um, awesome. All right. So speaking on that note, we'll start with you, Manked, first. What's your favourite bit of wilderness content? Um. It's probably going to be the the undead pirates at the low level hotspot because I think it just hits that really easy to PK at. It's low level wilderness, so I can PK on you know different builds that I haven't been able to for what feels like five years or something. Um, yeah, it just it makes me feel like it's you know 2016 again or 2008 again, just PKing on newbie accounts. You know, with a D sim like who uses a D sim in 2024? Um, so yeah, it, it's it's awesome, and uh, I hope it continues to be uh, a hotspot for for the future as well. Awesome top. But you can't knock the D simmers out there, man. There's there's still some out there. They use them out there, right? There, I'm sure there's a tight knit community around just D sim only, or something. In, in all fairness, uh, my Iron Man is 60 attack, so I am still a D sim user technically. On that, it's like two point. 1k total or something and uh yeah it's, it's still a decent user yeah yeah that's what i'm saying you're, you're doubting your own people right here manx <laughs> what's going on <laughs> uh all right dyson what about you what what bit of the wilderness is your uh your favorite uh well i personally i think it's bounty hunter well the reason is actually because it's the first wellness per wellness project i've worked on actually so yeah and then very happy to see it's actually the one kind of reborn has got good receipt from the player. But also very exciting for the Undead Pirate. This could become the next favorite for the in the wellness. Yeah, awesome stuff. Bounty Hunter's Return has definitely been a, a very nice inclusion, especially since uh, everything seemingly okay this time on the what is it, third time? Third time is the charm. <laughs> yep. So very very good awesome all right uh and this one's i think for manx specifically because i can see you tagged yourself in on this one what's your biggest achievement in the world d to date um this is where i do the meme of like over five thousand confirmed kills um i don't know <laughs> of you know i i think my biggest achievement is i've pk'd on like all the different builds i've enjoyed myself in every single type of pking and there is such a huge variety um I think so many people miss out and um, multi PKing is just so easy to get into. You just ask a bunch of friends, yo, let's just go here with pretty bad gear and let's just try and kill pe some people. And it's, it is super fun. Um, but yeah, I think just getting, getting, you know, juicy kills on people at Bounty Hunter and, and, and various places in the wilderness is just always fun. Um, I, I, I don't think I'd PK'd for like a month or two. I was focusing on something. Um, in real life and I came back and I went to RTO and I managed to kill some guy for like 400 mil um, because oh. he got hit by the uh, the mage spell from the bear so he got he got yeeted against the wall and hit a 50 and then I void waked him like a 40 and he just died and I it, it was a while since I PK'd 400 mil so it was, it was a really nice feeling damn okay okay that's pretty impressive yeah that must have been that must have been such a shock seeing that Luke key come up and be like oh oh okay <laughs> Uh, awesome. All right. We've got some ch Twitch chat questions here. Uh, and I've tried to keep them all wilderness related. There's one in there which I'll address myself. But any chance of implementing escapes that aren't ladder spamming in the wilderness? Yeah, I, I think. Um, so for anyone that's not aware, you, you can. I probably shouldn't say this. All the PKs are going to hate me. Um, but if you bring Mystic or, you know, some Mage Gear and you bring Freezes, in any single location, single combat location anyway, um, if you freeze your opponent and, you know, hug around a tree or stand under them, uh, unless they've got, you know, Mithril or Adamant Seeds now, you can get really easy escapes. Um, and if you practice that a little bit, you can be very safe in the wilderness. Um, so that is that is a, a good escape that it feels like not that many people know about. 
Um, but then also uh, there have been propositions from players saying, oh, we'd like this piece of content. And then after reviewing it, they've got um, escapes where you could use, you know, some form of skilling to, to build like a trap or something like that to escape PKs. Obviously it'd have to be balanced relatively well so it's not a very frustrating uh, method for both but yeah we, we could implement stuff like that in the future as well awesome stuff awesome stuff yeah i like the sound of that uh all right i've just got a little thing to because i know there's been a few questions in chat about the beta worlds and i've just had some messages come through him saying the beta world should be back up tomorrow morning with a slightly updated npc defense changes uh blog for project rebalance uh, and we get an updated again next week alongside another Project Rebalance blog. So you can look forward to all of that, uh, any of you uh, beta testers out there. Um, awesome. All right. Uh, next question then is, why is the Undead Pirate area multi-combat instead of singles plus? Do you think more players will be discouraged because it's multi? I think overall for the area... Um... It, it was multi before and it would feel wrong, you know, changing that square or something to be single. We, we'd pretty much have to remove multi in entire wilderness, uh, potentially, because otherwise, you know, it, it would just feel really wrong. Um, so that that's, that's the main reason. But then another reason is because it's so le low level wilderness, you could probably just whack on like a bulwark and have 10 brews and you would never die in that low level wilderness because if you only have to tank 10 wilderness levels and that is factoring in if the player is literally your combat level as well which is typically quite unlikely um unless you're maxed um yeah i think it would be far too safe and then the the reward associated with the area would have to completely nerf as well because otherwise it would be you know really good money and extremely easy to survive so uh, that's the, the the main two reasons i can think of Awesome stuff. And little notification, my PC just nearly <laughs> made me misclick at a whole update. So that could have been that could have been fun. Uh, all right. The uh, next question, a uh, little bit spicy one, but we'll see. Any hope for a different method for Pures or Zerks to get chivalry and give it an actual use? I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Yep. Um, so when this did fail, I was obviously very sad. Um, I absolutely loved the thought of having different metas and different builds um, for, for old school runescape it's like one of the main reasons um i and i know a lot of people play you know you, you want to build that really cool character that unique character um so having something like chivalry being used for pures is really cool um i i reviewed the feedback uh, from players mainly on why they voted no um and i i fully understand that a lot of people said it didn't feel right it, where it was coming from just didn't sit right with them and you know i completely agree with it um so in the future i would like to take the feedback on why it failed on board and propose something different which i think will be thematically a lot more appropriate um so those players who didn't like it uh, will be on board and obviously i think that it was thirty thousand people or something that voted yes for it so you know all of those people can have access to it and enjoy it as well um so yeah that, that's my plan for the future yeah, yeah, consider we we're gonna be working on probably potentially more hotspot around the wild needs. So it could be more chance to get it next time. Hopefully it can be better work doing better in the pool next time. Yeah, yeah, I think that's very fair. Again, I think it's something that, you know, especially with the feedback, especially because Manked and Dyson have gone out of their way to make sure to get the feedback and why you voted no, which I think is a great a great thing overall to understand the the gripes you had with that so hopefully if we you know poll it again in the future it can come from a better place and hopefully the majority of players will feel like it's better suited uh awesome i'm going to take the next one it's quite a quick response to this question but i saw some people talking about it in uh yesterday's update uh fred and also in here when is the valamore agility course coming i can't give you an eta unfortunately there are some discussions happening behind the scene on when we want to do it and and some intricacies around it but i can promise you as soon as we know i will be putting it in some sort of news post and letting you all know when it's coming uh so hopefully that will be soon uh and we'll be able to update you maybe in a vile more related blog maybe hopefully in the next one i do who knows i can't guarantee it but 
that's that's there's hope there for for a soon uh you'll get to know uh what we're doing with the agility course so uh keep your eyes peeled uh all right next one is there any possibility of a chaos druid demi boss let's see why not could be yeah i see that if if it is we can uh, figure out some good design was like the was the, the how the he's gonna be doing the attacking is gonna be a good location for it. Yeah, maybe it's a what boss in the one is if it is possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna stay on this one because I'm interested to see where both your minds instantly go because obviously this is the first time you're seeing any element of chaos dru druid demi bosses. Daizong, how could you imagine it looking? I've got an idea in my head. I want to hear what you you guys you guys think. Mm. I guess it's gonna be probably dressed a bit differently from the the old one. It can be dressed like a I don't know, like a special robe there with some some holy book. <laughs> I don't know. Nice, Mac. Any thoughts? I mean, I'd probably just have a. It's going to sound awful, but just a big elder chaos dread, because it's like in in breaches. I don't know if you saw the big Daroks, but they were hilarious. They were massive, really scary, uh, and it was great to see them running around and seeing people running away from them because they had really high HP and they could just one hit you. Uh, so yeah, it was good fun. So you're not saying giants, just like a huge <laughs> man, basically, just running yeah. around. Okay, okay, I feel it. I feel it. I like the idea Maybe. of like. Oh, God, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just saying maybe it doesn't have to be one single droid. It can be a small team, you know? Mm, interesting. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a group, but then one like sacrifices the others. And if you don't kill them in time, they gain power and then they can hit you hard. So, you know, you got to you got to prioritize dispatching as many as possible before it comes in and just claps you. So, yeah. It's a cool, it's a cool idea. Maybe, maybe we explore it at some point, but nothing on the radar so far. Um, awesome. All right, the next one we have: Do you have any plans on reworking the wildy resource area since it doesn't have much reward for the risk? Let Daisong talk about that one. I think um, we've got, we've saw some yeah. uh, player feedback for that. Yeah, we saw some player feedback about that, and we quite liked it. The, the player's idea about this, and it's definitely something we're considered doing in the future. Yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. So you can look forward to that uh, soon. TM. <laughs> I know we say that a lot on these streams, and I, I hate I hate saying soon, but some of this, you know, we're just not ready to talk about if we're going to talk about it at all. Um, oh, okay. Well, thank you very much, Dino, for the raid in the old school channel. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you're doing uh, enjoying the agility stuff. Uh, next question is, uh, are zombie pirates going to exist exclusively at the Chaos Order, or do you expect to expand their domain later, possibly with sailing? I would love to see something like that, although their positioning would have to be um, quite specific, otherwise they could be quite OP. Maybe maybe another multi spot in the deep wilderness maybe a single spot in the deep wilderness to you know give some variety i know there's a lot of players that want um more hot spots for the the single combat locations just because you know the, they're, they're tired of the the revenant cave walls um and they've, they've seen them for far too long so yeah maybe they can invade the north or something in the wilderness I think just have them sail the seas and crash into players' ships and try and take over players' ships, <laughs> make them, uh, you know, certain dangerous area of the sea that they can just like come into contact with you and try and board your ship and loot it. Um, proper Sea of Thieves style, I think. That chaotic element of that game is beautiful, and I feel if we embrace that. I feel like we're on onto the the right <laughs> the right direction. Um, all right, for all you agility lovers out there. Can players obtain the pet from the Wilderness Agility course? Yeah, I believe so. I'm pretty sure I've accidentally gotten it while testing, although I did have my cheats <laughs> on, so the, the chance was a lot better. Yeah, I don't want to get into JMod accounts and their luck uh, <laughs> when we can just program it that way. Um, but yeah, so it sounds like you can get it there. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the rates are. Maybe the wiki already has them in there. I imagine they do. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll have a quick look and find out. Uh, but until then, 
Uh, let's go on to um, number ten. I think we'll skip. We'll skip the number nine. We're going to number ten. What are your thoughts on expanding the wilderness map in general? At a certain point, do you think there'll be too much content in the current confines? I think we've got. If if you look at the wilderness map right now and you try and pinpoint a reason to going to different places, I think there are very limited reasons for a lot of spots we've got. So I think there's definitely space for a lot of updates in the future um, to give everything a reason. But then again, you know, I love my risk versus reward. So I wouldn't mind seeing even deeper wilderness um, that has, you know, really lucrative uh, rewards, you know, such as um, north of Mage Bank. You know, we could have a, a, a crazy single place to PK. Um, I could definitely see that happening in the future. But I think right now, like I said, there's there's a lot of places that there's not really a point going to, so would love to expand on those areas first, but not opposed to expanding north too. Yeah, I think the idea is if we can actually, rather than expanding the whole area map, but keep them not fill out the content, it's more the better idea would be try to fill out what we already there, you know, and also it's a spot. The point is like you know getting the people to be more together rather than spread them out with with much less. Space places to go and um, yeah but also you know we don't against the idea if we can find some good combination of like a new new area to expand in i said why not but yeah get about the things but currently in the in the first scene future it's be more like we try to fill out it rather than expanding it awesome awesome stuff yeah i saw a comment in chat saying uh level 60 wilderness you can't telly or log out would be wild <laughs> So you just have to sprint and protect for your life. Um, so that would be that would be very interesting. Uh, I think Mod Soften's idea and that group that we had on our first game jam, I believe, was really cool. Um, but I think the approach was to like bring some of those ideas in line with what we have in the current wilderness, and then maybe in the future do some expansion, um, like looking at the feedback from the game jam pictures. Um, so hopefully that some of that could be implemented in in the near future, or you know whatever uh, Manked and Dizon cook up in their next PvP themed update. I imagine it will be no less as good. Um, awesome. I'm not going to ask about the Iron Only World. Like, I, th I think that says itself what <laughs> what the answer is going to be. Um, awesome. All right. I've had, someone's asked about Worldy Group Slayer tasks, but I don't think we're going to be able to do any Group Slayer stuff until we even look back at that whole system but so yeah i've got no more questions guys we literally stormed through all the questions including chat questions which very rarely happens on these streams so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna just go for a bit of uh just off the cuff manked where are you uh are you planning to do any elder chaos druid stuff yourself oh, i've already been uh i went pking last night uh went on my pure for a little while and then I was on my level 110 account and I was just hopping around with a bunch of friends from stream uh, and we were just going around on our med accounts and then whenever we saw pures, we'd say, okay, log out of the, the med account, log into your pure and then we'd go try and attack them. Died a few times, but it was a lot of fun. Awesome stuff. Did you get any bag, bag any decent loot? Um, no, it, it was I didn't get any crazy loot, so I didn't smite anything, but it was consistent loot, so that's always nice. Excellent, excellent. We love a bit of consistency on, on old school, I think. Dazong, are you gonna have you done any uh, Elder Chaos Druid stuff yourself or are you uh are you um, staying away from the, the ditch? Yes, currently not yet, but uh, yes, I'm planning to do some yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. And this is probably free reign to both of you, this sort of coincides with the question earlier. The next piece of focus you wanna sort of direct your attention to, uh what where do you think you're gonna you're gonna go? I personally, I I like the concept of having content for as many PVPers as possible. So something that can be, you know, like multiple hotspots, such as the whole breach idea that I had for Deadman, where you can have it in both low level wilderness, you can have it deep level wilderness, you can have it in multi single. Um, that really gives a wide variety of players that can engage in that. Um, so that's something I'd love to expand more on. Uh, the rewards, I won't say what i want to to do um as it's going to be very spicy in the future when we talk about it but um it will hopefully 
pot potentially create like an item sync, uh, but make some items more powerful as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to talking to the community about those uh, ideas and seeing where it goes. Very interesting. Daizong, are you in the sort of same boat as, uh, as Manked? Yep, but also I, I do like to see what, if we can actually get some word boss in the weapons there and you know it's gonna be fine for getting a lot of people gather there. Well it depending on what the wellness level there, it could be in the low level or could be the high level, possibly more in the high level, but it's still like it can give him some unique rewards there and also it could be a quite powerful useful hotspot for, for the for the wellness. Yeah, we just need Scarius V2 in the worldy now. That's 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 what we need. No, no bias, of course. <laughs> you know, but you know, was inspired by a. a I think Mod Soffin's original uh, worldy rat boss idea was a little rat with a, a. I think it was a giant rat with a little rat with an ancient staff on the back, which was very cool. Maybe who knows? Who knows? Um, all right, you know what? We'll just go to Daizong. If you got any like sort of final words about the content or anything that you want to hear from players about feedback-wise or anything, we're uh, just saying. i was really happy to see it's been player has been enjoying it, engaging it, and providing so many great feedback so far. And yeah, and hopefully it it will be be useful for the long term on the creating more hotspot and wellness and getting getting the play more different player to be getting engaging into the wellness content. Awesome, awesome. Same. Any final words from you, Manked? Yeah, uh, I think for for players who maybe have never PvP before and they might want to get into it and they don't know how to, I think just joining a streamer and if they're doing an event maybe like this event you can see on stream right now um or if they're doing an event at the the low level hotspot at the chaos druids um just just join them and give it a go because pking is genuinely one of the most fun things on this game i've ever done i've literally done it for the last 20 or so years it's um and it never gets old it, it's super fun pking with people i've pked with a lot of mod, uh, j mods as well um who have never pked before and they've enjoyed themselves so um if yeah if you do want to get into it this is like the perfect time um, and you, you don't need to risk much. You don't need any experience. It's very easy. Um, so yeah, and yeah, any feedback, please give it to us. Well, we love hearing the feedback and making this content as good as it possibly can be for all of you. I need to, I need to turn up to one of those, uh, one of those J Mod exclusive events, man. Maybe one day in the future we can do a little, little stream event on, on the channel and have everyone participate and go, go World DPK and all to, as a group, which would be fun. Awesome. All right. Uh, with that being said, let's go through the uh, announcements quickly before we wrap up stream. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this. You know, I love I love showcasing the PvP updates. It doesn't get enough time in the spotlight. I think PvP in general. So hopefully, we can do a little bit to change that. So who knows? Uh, exclamation mark game update however this week brings a new money maker in the wildy undead pirates. Also changes to the wilderness agility course. Uh, and not only that, but we've uh, made some adjustments to Colosseum modifiers, drop rates, rewards, and more. So you can check out all the information in there. It's quite a packed blog. It's uh, got a lot of good information in there. Exclamation mark game update. Go and check that out. Uh, next, exclamation mark Vala more. Prepare yourself for Vala more. Uh, help us shape what rewards you want from the group boss and herb lord activity for part two. We've got some information about the quest. We've got some little synopsises about the uh, group boss and herb lord activity and the rewards, reward space we want to explore. Uh, and we want to hear your ideas. There's a new flare on Reddit uh, called Valamore, and there's also a uh, s exclusive Discord channel. Uh, we've already seen some pretty good ideas, um, so hopefully we can communicate that very soon. And finally, exclamation mark merch. If you're looking for some old school runescape merch to bag yourself uh, we've got more plushies from the wonderful make shit uh, coming very soon so you can sign up using that link and be the first note when they go live exclamation mark merch thank you all so much for tuning in i love doing these streams they're so fun uh we are gonna do a little uh little surprise raid on my Karoo, who's currently on a subathon recently started creating uh, old school content after many years in uh, runescape so we're gonna raid him very shortly show them some love and uh just just hearts all around good vibes we want some good times so i hope you all have a lovely week a lovely weekend wherever you are 
Uh, and yeah, show some love. Goodbye. <laughs>